Hey, yo, it's your boy Duel here. Uh, we're here to talk about um, the uh, Sony solo projects um, that Sony is developing currently. And originally, this was just going to be a Morbius movie uh, video. But um, I started thinking about it more and more. It's like, nah, let's talk about all of the things that they're doing right now and how it relates to Spider-Man and the future of Spider-Man. And I have some issues with some of the things that they're doing. Um, so let's just get into it. Um, diving right into this so we've got morbius and we've got craven and then we've got uh i am blanking super hard right now we got the silk amazon project and then i believe they're doing um i think i saw it on twitter they were developing a rhino and sandman so somewhere i don't know if it was a tv show or some movie some sort of solo project um and then they're developing a madam web solo project but we're gonna get into all of this um but i just wanted to uh to start by talking about Morbius um, because Morbius is an interesting beast at least to me and it, there's some red flags going on here so let's talk about it so um, Morbius was supposed to come out after Far From Home so Far From Home came out in 2019 and then 2020 rolled around and I believe it was supposed to come out in 2020 like it was like May I think I'll have to go and check the original release date but it was before it was after Far From Home and before Venom 2 so it was going to be Far From Home, Morbius, Venom 2, and then whatever No Way Home. At that time, it was just an untitled Spider-Man 3 movie, right, for the MCU. Um, obviously, COVID happened, so everyone delayed their movies, right? Every Almost every single major studio either went straight to digital or they just completely delayed their movies. Um, and then so... Morbius and Venom got delayed a full year, and I think Morbius kept its its same slot. And I think Venom was supposed to come out in the summer of 2021, but then they delayed it to, uh, I think it was September, and then they delayed it again to October, I think. Yeah, I think it was something like that. Um, and then they just they just pushed Morbius all the way to January of this year, after No Way Home. So that's pretty wild, right? That's that's quite a jump. Like COVID, yeah, okay, you get a pass on that. But after that, like, what happened? Maybe they just got short-staffed on VFX? I don't really know. Um, this ba this movie's basically the Flash movie of the Sony-verse, right? Um, and that's what I'm going to be calling it in this video, is the Sony-verse. And that refers to Venom and any other solo projects outside of the MCU. Um, which is now a gray area now, right? The MCU and the Sony-verse are kind of a gray area. Um, only because of the fact that they kind of merged the Sony-verse and the MCU together in this movie in, in No Way Home. Spoilers, but Um, yeah, so anyways, um, yeah, so it, to me, it's a red flag. I, I think they're not confident in this movie. And another red flag that, that Sony does, and this is classic Sony marketing, um, when they did this in Homecoming as well, and that's when they just play way too many things in their trailer. They start as the movie develops, and this movie was supposed to come out two full years ago. So I can't imagine, I bet Jared Leto's in the same boat that Scarlett Johansson was when Black Widow came out. And he's just like, bro, can we just drop the movie? I'm, I can't, he hasn't been able to talk to talk about it for two years, right? And, you know, he's an actor and he's in this business for a while, so he's probably used to it. But still, I digress. It must suck just sitting there like, man, I was going to talk about it with my buddies this weekend. Like, fuck, that we had it all planned out, shit. Well, sorry, Tom Hardy. I'll see you at the next one, I guess. <laughs> you know. So, they delayed it to January. And right after, on the cuff, cuff, cusp, cuff, cusp. Anyway, right after No Way Home, people were going to go see Morbius. And I think this was the perfect time to drop this movie. And I don't remember if there's anything else coming out at the beginning of January that would have threatened Morbius. But it doesn't matter. Wasn't gonna, this movie's not going to do No Way Home numbers anyway. Not even close. Not even close. I don't even think it's going to do Venom numbers, if I'm being completely honest. Maybe I'm being a pessimist. And um, and the reason that is, is because um, they're doing it They're doing it in such a weird way. And let, let me explain. So, and what I mean is, like, let's say, so good example here is The Batman just came out. Great movie. 9 out of 10. Definitely go see it. But now they've announced, HBO has announced that they're developing a Penguin series. A Penguin series based off of the Penguin from the Batman. And it's like, oh yeah, I've seen that movie. That movie was good. I want to see more of this character. This makes sense to me. I will go watch this. I will then go watch, I will go see the Batman. And then I will go watch this HBO Max show. Uh, Sony's doing the opposite. 
they're saying, hey, we're going to develop this villain, this solo villain movie, which if you're not an avid reader of the comics, you don't know who these characters are. So you then that means all of your efforts need to go into this trailer and make this trailer so fucking interesting that you as just a general moviegoer need to go see this movie because because X reason because he's a vampire because ooh he's going to cross the line between villain and hero ooh when did we see that movie when did we see that uh marketing scheme oh yeah we saw it in venom yeah they did that exact same shit in venom cuz it was something like no more heroes it was something anti there's too many heroes in the world anti heroes need to rise or some bullshit like that and it's like, we just saw that slugging with Venom, and now they're doing the same thing with Morbius. So it's like, when Venom really wasn't an anti-hero in the Venom movie, he's more of a villain, but whatever. Uh, I can, we'll talk about that in another video, I guess. Um, but anyways, uh, my point being is, I feel like they're just not confident in this film. And so, it's supposed to come out in January, and then he delayed it, like, another four Another three months. They delayed it another three months, basically. Three, maybe two and a half, but still, that's a long ass time to delay the movie. April 1st, and when I first saw that day, I was like, oh, is this a joke? April 1st, right? Haha. <laughs> nice one. Like, nah, we ain't joking, dog. We're dropping it on April 1st. It's like, oh, 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 okay. Okay, then. Uh, <laughs> and then, so then they start showing a bunch of scenes from the movie. And Homecoming did this. It just, it gets to the point where you, are basically going to see key points in the movie in the trailer so none of these things become a surprise it's like we're going to show all these cool vfx shots in the uh trailer so that you'll go and see it oh well this looks cool he looks like a little vampire dude and so yeah i want to go see this movie and whatever you know i'm a spidey fan so i know these characters so i'm gonna of course i'm gonna go see it and judge for myself um but there's a lot of people that aren't because i don't know who more and their response to this is is from the creators of Spider-Man Far From Home, which is now changed to from the creators of Spider-Man No Way Home. And it's just like, bruh, like, okay, yeah, I saw Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, oh, Spider-Man's not in it? I, I, I ain't gonna go see that. Nah, nah, nah. Now, however, if they did a freaking Spider-Man movie first, developed Morbius in the Spider-Man movie first, and then said, hey, we're developing a solo... And heck, these should get Sony needs their own uh, streaming service. Wait, no, they don't. Fuck that idea. Fuck that. It'll go to Amazon. Let it be on Amazon. They need to develop, do exactly what they're doing with the Batman character, the Penguin. Hey, we're we put we built this villain. We made him interesting. He's written somewhat decent. We have enough to write an entire maybe ten episode arc, maybe less than that, maybe six episode arc for this character, and people will want to see it. And Batman's not going to be in it. And in this case, Spider-Man's not going to be in it. Or he'll just be referenced, or he'll be his name will be said. This is how you do it. This is the right way to do it. Now, I don't know if Penguin's going to end up being a good series at all. I do not know. But hey, you know what? They planted the seed, and I am interested. I'm intrigued. They've, 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 uh, you know, they sent their fishing line. They've caught me on the hook, and I'm going to go check that out, right? And I'm not joking. I am going to go check that out. But that's how you do it. That's how you do it. You don't develop these solo movies first this isn't the mcu where they're developing the avengers i mean i guess it kind of is but not really because you need these villains are created because of spider-man and they exist because of spider-man they're taking that element out especially venom is like the biggest example of that why it doesn't work for me as a, that makes venom, venom this compelling interesting villain they're taking the spider-man element out now, I know in Venom 2 at the very end, they make a reference saying, that guy, and he licks the screen, and it's Tom Holland he's licking, but he's never fought Tom Holland, but the explainer is that, you know, he's got this hive mind insinuating that, uh, you know, he faced off with Toby before, and that this is the Venom, this Venom remembers from Matt Symbiote fighting Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. And it makes, it now this idea is actually solidified, because now that we know that Toby and um toby and andrew are in no way homes right so that solidifies that actual that writing piece but that's such a shoehorn that's such a shoehorn way of doing it they explain after the fact like it would have been great it was like yeah i fought this one guy in a red suit he was real weird like in venom one if they, if they said that one time that's all they had to do 
That's all they had to do in Venom 1, but they didn't do that. So he just has his power. The Venom symbiote has his powers because why? They don't explain it. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I can go off on a whole other tangent about Venom, but I, my point is they're making these projects without Spider-Man, and it doesn't make sense to me. It does not make sense to me. Now, unfortunately, the Venom movie was successful. It made a bunch of money, and so did Venom 2. And it sucks because I feel like I feel like they could have uh, gone a lot crazier with these movies. They could have gotten a lot creative, a lot more creative, and they could have written them more coherently. And what what you think of these movies is fine. I'm not here to say that the movie is shit and trash and they're horrible. Um, they're not amazing movies to me personally, but um, they could have been better. They could have been better. That's my point. And if you had Spider-Man in there. These projects can flourish and they can be better. I mean, if they're written bad, they're written bad, right? But at least you have the core character that that gives them meaning, gives them this ability to exist, this reason to create this universe. Um, so I guess Sony's plan is to make these solo projects so that they can develop a Sinister Six movie that Tom Holland will eventually face down the line, which, you know, that's cool and all, but it would be nice if you were to like plant the seeds in front of Spider-Man first before, hey, yeah, Sinister Six is here, and just assume that everyone's gonna go watch all these solo projects, because I can tell you, not everyone's gonna go watch these solo projects. They're just not. They're not. And people, they went and saw No Way Home, and you can watch that movie without Toby and without seeing the Andrew movies, without seeing those movies, and it still works. It doesn't work here. It's not going to work. I, I'm sorry to say, Sony, I hate to burst your bubble. And I think they know that. And that's why they delayed the movie so many times. And, and and there could be other reasons behind that, but I don't know. But that's the big thing for me is they're not confident in this movie. They weren't confident in Venom 2 either. They delayed it, but more that was more about COVID. But still, they're just they're not that confident in, the, in their movies. And it's it shows. So So now, okay, yeah. So we got Venom. Unfortunately, it made a bunch of money, and that's great, whatever. Um, but then they're like, okay, yeah, so we're gonna do more of these solo projects. Then. Sign off on more. Who, who, who else we got? You know, probably Ron, right? Who, who, who do we got over there? Uh, oh yeah, Morbius. Yeah, I don't know. We like Morbius. Get him out of here. Uh, Craven. Yeah, Craven. Well, wait. Uh, we were gonna do Craven in Spider-Man Three. No, no, no. We're, we're, we'll just do a solo movie for Craven. And we don't need no solo movie for Spider-Man Three. I'm not even really a part of that. You know. I, I, you know, Kevin, Kevin's doing it. No, it's my villain. Mine. It's mine. Toys. I need toys. Where's the damn toy? Where's my cigarette? Bad impression of Bobby Rod, I know. I'm sorry. Sorry for that. Whew. Lost it. Um, yeah. But anyways, that my point is, like, yeah. they were. I, I'm pretty, pretty sure this was going to be a... Spider-Man 3, No Way Home. That was going to be a Craven movie. And then they were like, nah, we want to do a solo Craven movie, so you can't do that. And I even think Craven was supposed to potentially be in Black Panther. That's a gray area. I can't confirm that one. I don't know. Um, I digress. So now Morbius is going to come out. I don't feel like that movie's going to be... This movie's not going to be Oscar award worthy. Just not. I'm sorry. It's not going to be. And I could be wrong. Okay? I, I could go into this movie and it's going to be great. But just the matter of showing all these scenes like they usually do. And the fact that they've delayed it so many times goes that they're not confident in their product so that's a red flag for me second red flag no spider-man sorry i just have to say it those are the red flags for me so now we got a craven movie same thing aaron taylor johnson he's going to be craven which not the guy i envisioned for craven i was hoping they would get uh carl urban because i think carl urban would be a great fucking wolverine or a great fucking craven what the fuck i know he's doing the boys but holy shit they could get him for a movie between seasons come on they could have done it. What the hell? Anyway. <laughs> uh, so Craven movie. They're doing the same shit. Um, gonna be a solo project without Spider-Man. And it doesn't make sense because without Spider-Man, I just Craven exists. Um, and then the Silk movie. The Silk movie could be interesting. Uh, or the TV show. It's a TV show on Amazon. Sorry. Um, I, I'm gonna be honest. I know no, next to nothing about Silk. I'll have to go and do some research before I talk about her more. Um, I just didn't. I did not get sucked into that part of the character. So um, I have to look into that. So I can't really discuss that, but I can talk about um, Madam Web. So Madam Web was mostly prominent in the '90s Spider-Man cartoon. 
And I believe she's in Shattered Dimensions, which I need to play on uh, YouTube. Looking at you, Emily. Um, so uh, that's that's on the books to do at some point, um, really soon. And um, yeah, so let's talk about Madam Web. They're gonna do a Madam Web uh, solo movie, and I'm pretty sure that um, uh, Olivia Wilde is directing that project. That could be wrong. Could be wrong. I have to double check that, but she's developing a Spider-Man ish solo project for Sony, and I think it's Madam Web, or it could be something else, but um yeah, so as I was saying, Madam Web was mostly prominent in the 90s Spider-Man cartoon, and if you have not watched the 90s Spider-Man cartoon, I'm pretty sure it's on Disney Plus. Definitely go check it out. But she's basically like this Doctor Strange-ish type character for the Spider-Verse and kind of helps Peter uh, deal with multi-dimensional threats when it involves him. Um so in this this version of Madam Web, it's gonna be like a younger version. They just casted the actress for her, and um, I don't remember her name, but she's young. They're not doing an old timey Madam Web. So either they're doing like an origin story for her, which how do you even? I can't even think of how you would make that work. This would have to be before Tom Holland is even born, right? Like, or sorry, his version of Peter Parker is even born. So I don't. At least I'm guessing. I don't. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. I have no idea. And then, I'm pretty sure I saw. I mentioned this earlier that they were gonna do a Sandman and I know solo movies. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna be combined into one movie or if they're separate solo movies. I could get behind Sandman, but see, they made sense because he was in Spider-Man Three, and now we get a solo project of getting his backstory, and he's. Honestly, he's probably, besides Green Goblin and Dr. Octopus, out of the rest of the other villains, he's probably the most interesting. Um, well, the more interesting. The more interesting between uh, Isaiah Fenn's Lizard and Electro. Because they're just, I'm sorry, they're just boring. They're just, just straight boring. Um, but yeah, he, he, I could see them writing something potentially coherent um, for the Sandman character and make it good. And it makes sense because somebody went and saw No Way Home. They know of his existence. They know who he is. They know he has a daughter. And you could write a movie about that or a series. The seed has been planted. So now you can go, oh, yeah, I remember that guy from No Way Home. I'll go watch that. I'll check that out. That's interesting. I would like to see more of this character. Yes, please sign me up. I am in for that. Um, but they don't do that for other characters. And it just it baffles me. It's like, what? Why? So that they can make a Sinister Six movie for Tom Holland. And then they have this giant ass trailer. It's like, well, you had to go see Morbius. Blah, 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 blah. Get all these villains together. It's like, but why? Why did you do it this way? It doesn't make sense to me. Um, and I don't know also if they're planning on doing more. And I guarantee we're going to see more Deadline variety posts about Sony developing more future Sony first projects. What that ends up being, I don't know. All I'm saying is it's kind of a mess. That's the whole point of this video. It's a mess. It's a messy universe. And I don't know what Morbius is planning on doing because of what they're doing with that movie as far as the Spider-Verse goes, whether it's Andrew's universe or Toby's universe, um, or if it's one giant mess of a universe. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do, but hopefully Morbius explains that and maybe it'll explain some of these these villains that we're gonna get. Probably not. I had to guess. Probably not. Um, but yeah, my my big theory right now, and it's a pretty probably pretty standard theory on the internet right now, is that they're developing a, these solo movies so that you'll go and watch the Sinister Six. Um, and they'll probably they'll probably tee that up in like Spider Man four or five at the end of it. Like, hey, this guy named Morbius and even the hunter and hunter and who are these guys? I and mean, he just like slaps a photo of them and you see all six of them and their mug shots, you know. And it's like they're up to something or what I don't fucking know. I don't I'm not a writer. And then they see plant that in like Spider-Man four or five with Tom Holland, and then he faces off in a separate solo movie in a Sinister Six movie. And it's like, okay. It's like, oh, but you had to go back and watch the Morbius and Craven movies first before you go and watch this. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. And I'm hoping the writing teams, if they get 
are decent writers, decent enough writers where they can um, they can do that movie without having forcing you to go see the solo projects. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Uh, but anyways, that's about all I've had to, to talk about. This is more like a, a rambling about their solo projects. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I want to talk about? I don't, I wrote down the major points. I think I got them all out. Um, but anyways, um, I think I'm going to be doing more of these really soon. And as soon as I can make them coherent thoughts and materialize them into something that is worth recording, I will upload to the channel and you will see them. So anyways, uh, whew, this is actually a short one. Just at 20 minutes. That's great. Well, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And uh, you know what? Fuck it. I don't know how many people are watching my videos. Probably not very many, and that's fine. I don't do it for the views. I do it for fun. So if you want to follow me for more Spidey, contact, con, bleh, Spidey content, follow me on Twitter, and I'm on Twitter, and uh, we can talk there. So anyways, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, great power comes great ability. I'm Dual Dyer, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.